Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, 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 in this video, I'm going to talk about top five five star weapon for the upcoming of the new geo dps characters called navia navia uses claymore as the main weapon so i'm gonna talk about the five top five five star weapon for navia so stay tuned till the end guys all right guys starting with number five we have the skyward pride on number five we have the skyward pride skyward pride is the oldest claymore in the game the, it's in the game since the start since the release of the game and it's pretty much very good very good claymore like this claymore can be usable on any character whether it's a dps sub dps or a support character this gives you a whopping 674 base attack with 36.8 percent energy recharge and also gives you increase all damages by eight percent after using elemental burst a vacuum blade that does 80% of the attack as the damage to opponent along its path will be created with normal and charge attack hit last for 20 seconds. See, this matches with the kit of a Navia. Navia is based on the normal attack, charge attack, and you're gonna hit the elemental skill and elemental burst. It's similar to what we do with the Diluc. Diluc is also similar when we activate the elemental skill, we just hit elemental skill three times, we, then we do normal attack, then we hit the elemental burst. So same we're gonna do with the Navia. Navia is purely based on the attack percentage, so more she's gonna have the attack so more she's gonna deal the damage so this already having a 674 the highest base attack for the claymore in the game so and also giving you a pretty much of little 8% at uh, damage bonus and 80% that vacuum damage so uh, it's good like it's nice to have on the navia not the best not from one of the best but yeah it's usable on navia if you have no other option and you don't wanna you know wish on the weapons fast five star weapon for navia Alright okay guys, on number 4th, we have the Beacon of the Reed Sea. Beacon of the Reed Sea, it's a signature weapon for Deha and it's pretty good weapon like this having a base attack of 608 and crit rate of 33.1%. Yes, it gives you crit rate of 33.1%. The amazing thing is the refinement ability. It may work with the Navia or if it may not. That's why I put this weapon on number four, uh, four rather the fact that this having a crit rate. So guys, this having a crit rate is very good thing, like very good thing. But the refinement ability of this weapon only works to 50%, not the 100%. After the character's elemental skill hits an opponent, their attack will be increased by 20% for eight seconds. So this ability, this line will work with the Navia's Kit, but the next line after that character takes damage their attack will be increased by 20 percent for eight seconds from now onwards and the last line is the character's max hp will be increased by 32 percent so this whole next part of the refinement ability the not gonna work with the navia's build because navia is based on the crystallized reaction based on the crystallized made shield so when you equip the navia uh, equip the crystallized made shield navia will gain the benefits uh you're gonna use the artifact that's gonna give her the benefit when when he gonna when she gonna generate the shield and gonna you know just pick up the, that shield so in the maximum cases like 90 to 95 percent cases navia is not gonna take any hit on the field because maximum time she's gonna be protected by some kind of a shield and navia is, has nothing to do with the hp so gaining 32 percent hp is also not beneficial for navia so that's why i said ki uh, only 50 percent of this refinement ability gonna work with the navia but still it's a very good weapon giving you 608 base attack and giving you extra 20 percent attack then giving you 33.1 percent critters if you have this weapon lying around you can use this weapon on navia with no doubt but if you can go for some other weapons you should on number four guys we have the beacon of the reach Alright okay guys, on number 3 we have the Unforged. Unforged is the weapon I think specially made for the Geo characters. I'm just joking. It is having a base attack of 608 with the substrat of 49.6% attack. It's a loss of lots of attack. Increase shield strength by 20%. That's also very good. 
scoring hit on opponent increase attack by 4% for 8 seconds and you can actually stack this up to 5 like you can max stack this up to 5 so you'll gain you can gain up to 20% attack from here also and can only uh, and can only occurs once every 0.3 second while protected by a shield this attack increase effect is increased by 100% that means you can gain a lots of lots of attack from the refinement ability and this weapon is also giving you very high attack in the base attack and substract so overall you can gain around 2000 attack with this weapon gaining 2000 attack with from a weapon it's very very nice thing and i think this weapon is gonna be very very good on navia so on number three guys we have the weapon the unforged if you have this weapon you can give to navia no doubt you, you don't have to go for the signature weapon or any other any other weapon this weapon is super super strong on navia okay all right guys on number two we have everyone's favorite weapon in the game everyone's favorite like my favorite weapon is in the game is the wolf gravestone and if you don't know about wolf gravestone wolf gravestone is literally very strong weapon like uh, people go after with uh, go after crit grade crit damage weapons nah nah this weapon is actually game game breaking weapon this gives you a tons of tons of attack i think this weapon gives you the highest amount of attack percentage the highest amount of attack in the game that no other weapon can give you and if your characters if your dps kit matches with this weapon this weapon is going to be blast on your dps character this weapon gives you 608 base attack and substrate of 49.6 percent that's already very high and in the refinement ability just increase your attack by 20 percent additionally and on hit any types of hit elemental scale elemental burst hit or the normal attack hit or the charge attack hit any type of hit against opponents with less than 30 percent hp all party members attack increase by 40 percent for 12 seconds this weapon is actually good and if you have this weapon you should go for this weapon and you'll just forget about any other weapon this weapon is very very strong and you can use this weapon with navia this weapon is gonna be very 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 good on the navia and i think this weapon is very old weapon and most of the old player or ar60 players probably have already have this weapon and they can use this weapon on navia undoubtedly like no debate this weapon is gonna be very very good on navia uh, there's a tough there's gonna be a tough fight between the wolf gravestone and the unforged so if you have both weapon the wolf gravestone and unforged you can give e uh you can try both the both the weapons on navia and pick by yourself that which weapon is better but if you have any of the two weapons wolf gravestone or the unforged both gonna be very very strong on navia all right guys so on number one we have the signature weapon for navia that's gonna be the verdict Verdict is gonna be the weapon, the signature weapon for Navia and on number 1 we also have the Verdict. It's having a base attack of 674 with the crit rate of 22.1% not the very good amount of crit rate but yeah it's similar with what we get with Primordial Jade Wings pair. In the refinement liberty it increases your attack by 20% same as the Wolf Restone and the Unforced. When characters in your party obtain elemental shards from crystallized reaction, the equipping character will gain one seal increasing elemental skill by damage by 18%. The seal lasts for 15 seconds and equipper may uh, basically uh, just increases your elemental skill damage 